Hi, this is Adrian from videolane.com. I just completed uh, Google Hangouts on air, live. And what I did just now was to record the microphone. In fact, I'm still doing it now. And my voice. This voice is coming from an external mic connected to my laptop. It's the Lenovo Helix laptop. Okay, or oh, Ultra Book. The Lenovo Helix running on Windows 8. So the microphone I'm using is actually my iPhone 6 headset. So it's plugged into the microphone input. There's only one input, it's shared with the earphones. So that's why I'm using my iPhone headset, right? To both listen and to talk. So as you can hear, my voice is rather clear, except for some hissing sound in the background. Now, the extra thing why I want to make this video is because I managed to record the system sound as well straight to Google Hangouts instead of coming up from the speakers and into the microphone and go into Google Hangouts. So for example, let me pull out a, a video. Okay, a video that I did just now. By the way, this is not a lesson. This is just my own learning notes. So you can learn with me if you're watching this. Okay, watch this video. You got a camera? Don't know how to use it? Download the operating manual. <laughs> okay, cut. So as you can hear, the voice from the video is very clear it's coming straight or rather it's going straight into google hangouts on air and the setting is rather tricky i took two hours to tweak the settings to get this right so i'm recording this for my own reference in future when i'm using my lenovo to record my google hangouts on air or anything else actually it, it can apply it can help it can also apply to Camtasia or any other screen recording software that require a microphone and the system sound so let's minimize this and oh yeah you're not watching the screen right so let me switch to the screen now entire screen share present to everyone okay, hide all right let me play this again uh, operating manual <laughs> okay cut. one more time you got a camera don't know how to use it Download the operating manual. Okay, cut. Okay, pause. You got a camera? Pause, 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 pause. So, this is the sound you hear very clear, direct from the video itself. So, what's the setting I did? Let's take a look. Under, under the sound icon or the speaker icon. You click on it, okay, you'll see a volume mixer. But as before this, okay, you right click on the sound icon, select recording devices. The under recording devices, we have microphone and a cable output. Now the magic is this, the cable output, or rather VB audio virtual cable. 
Okay, what's this? This is an add-on which you need to download from the web. Okay, I downloaded this from this website. I'll show it to you right now. Okay, you go to vb-audio.pages-orange.fr slash cable slash index.hdm. Okay, and under the under this page, if you scroll downwards, you'll find VB Audio Virtual Cable. You can download it for free. Okay, although it's free, they call it donationware. Okay, if you like this software, please donate to this guy. Right, after making some software. Okay, uh, <clears throat> okay. So once once you download the software. You will see it appearing in the, or rather, once once you download and install the software, follow the instructions and install the software, it will appear in your sound, what do you call this? The sound dialog box. Okay, under the recording tab, you will see cable output under virtual cable. Under playback, Playback tab, you also see the virtual cable, but this time it's cable input. Okay, the setting is to be done here first. Okay, both these devices are enabled the microphone and the cable output. Okay, they are both enabled. First setting I did was to go into the microphone properties. And under listen, you have to select listen to this device and play back through this device through. Okay, by default, it was, you will be at default playback device. So I want to select cable input, the VB audio virtual cable. All right. So this thing will appear after you select this. And levels okay i like to set it the maximum okay this one i prefer to put it lower but because my microphone do not have good pickup so i set it to higher even though higher is noisier okay just for this test i'm going to put it down all right when i play back i will check my audio level okay then other enhancement I would like to turn this on acoustic, especially acoustic echo cancellation. Now, listen if I turn this off. Test, 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 no difference, right? There you go. Now, under here, okay, be careful. Can you hear that extra sound? So, I like to turn this tree on DC offset cancellation acoustic echo cancellation, and keystroke suppression. Okay, that's your keyboard sound. Okay, so under advanced, there's nothing to change here. So that's it for microphone properties. Press OK. Then under cable. Okay, by default, it's disabled. So you have to enable enable it okay right click and enable it and let's see if i had to change any properties okay click on properties go to listen there this is very important why because if this is not set you will not be able to hear anything at all from your speakers from your laptop speakers or even from your headset everything is going into the virtual cable and you can't hear anything so it's a bit complicated anyway click on listen to this device and here select speaker that means you want it to go back to the laptop speaker right why if you observe the name, I'm adjusting the inputs right now. 
recording inputs, but this output. Okay, so I want the output to go to my laptop speakers so I can hear it. Okay, I don't know why, but so why it's so complicated, but just do it. And then on the levels, make everything max. Advanced, nothing to adjust here. Press OK. Next, we adjust the playback settings. Okay, first is the speaker. Click on it. Select properties. Okay, again, levels. I want it maximum. Enhancements, there's nothing to adjust here. Okay, advanced. Actually, there's nothing to adjust here. So just press cancel. Now on the cable input, okay, again, observe the term inputs. It's under playback. Playback is usually <clears throat> output, but they call it input here for the virtual cable. So let's see what we can adjust under properties. Okay, go to levels, maximum, advanced. Okay, there's nothing to adjust here, so cancel. So what's happening is, in the recording mode, I sent my microphone, okay, if you watch again, I sent my microphone to, oh dear, something wrong here. Close it, select microphone. I sent my microphone to, the cable input device of the virtual cable or the virtual cable input. Okay, which means it goes to the virtual cable input, which is the playback of your computer system. Now, if it goes there, anything, unless you set this part on the recording, you go to cable output and set the properties to listen to this device, cable output, under your speaker, your computer speaker. Okay, yours is different. For my laptop, it's under real tech, high definition. So you can find a speaker in your own laptop. Okay, and that's for this setting. And under Google Hangouts, okay, under Google Hangouts, if you go to, okay, the screen is a bit confusing right now. You go to the gear settings here. Okay, you can see where my mouse is. Press the gear settings. And under the microphone, set microphone, microphone icon, you select cable output. Okay, microphone is the, this microphone icon is the input of the cable, wait, is the input of the Google Hangouts on air. Okay, so with this input, you want to grab the output of where? You only have three choices, default, Default is, depends on what your computer setting is, okay, or the virtual cable output or the microphone. If I set the microphone, I can only hear the sound from my microphone that I plugged into my laptop, the external microphone. So I want Google Hangouts to the microphone sound and the computer system sound. Anything that plays on the computer, I want it to capture. So, which we have already set just now. So, we will select the cable output here. Okay. And then you press save. All right. So, look at the. Let me make it smaller. So you can see it. Look at the audio meter at the bottom. As I speak, the audio meter will go up. 
Now let's play that video. Okay, so when I play this video, watch the audio meter. Don't know how to use it? Download the operating manual. <laughs> All right, so now both the system sound and my microphone sound is being picked up. Yep, my microphone sound is very soft right now, of course, because I'm speaking very softly. I can shout into my mic to maximize it. Yes, so but I'm not going to do that now. Okay, this is just for my reference. So, yep, I'm, am I done? Let me check if there's more to do here. Open volume mixer. Okay, there's not much difference. There's nothing much we can do here. So, yep, that's about it. I will use this recording as my future reference. Very tricky to set up. Okay, so thank you for listening. This is Adrian from videolane.com.